Hey guys, I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Super Mario All Stars Super Mario Brothers 3. I still have my mother bleeping Tanuki suit, and I'm gonna continue using it, and I am not going to give it up easily. Oh god, there's a leaf. I'm scared of leaves. All right. Anyways, this is World Five Sky World, or the Sky, as it's sometimes known, uh, and this is the second area of the of World Five where it's all in the sky. And I really like the idea of that. It's just a good one. I l also love how there's just waterfalls in the air, and the that's just I don't know. <sighs> Say it so many times, but freak, I love Mario Three, man. Whoops, that was weird. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really hoping to beat World Five. Um, with my Tanuki suit, because that would mean I'll have beaten the entirety of World 5 without getting a single hit. That'd just be awesome. At least in my opinion. World 5, gonna use a star. World 5 is this game's, um, oh, sorry, this level's. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh. <sighs> Anyways, um, this is World 5's um, friggin' coin challenge. Uh, it's also a place where I can get a Tanooki suit, so I guess all that drama was for nothing. So yeah, I'm a Tanooki Dookity Dookity suit again. Hooray. Anyways, this isn't really that hard a level for the, um, the coin thing, but you do have to be careful with this guy. Friggin' Fire Chomp, or whatever his name is. Boink. He's dead. I keep doing that by mistake. Woo! Oh, damn it. Uh, okay, whatever. Careful this guy because ooh, those small um, versions of those Goombas make your jump, like, kind of crippled. And I don't think I can, like, go back in and get another, another Tanuki suit. Damn it. Ah, well, well, I guess that didn't really do anything. Let's see. It's probably gone. I can't imagine being there. Yeah. So I, I've lost my Tanuki suit for good. Ah, oh, that sucks. That really friggin' sucks. Oh, well. Shut up. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I actually got the coin challenge there. There might have been like two or three coins from that area I couldn't get because I was small. We'll find out. Yeah, I didn't get it. But I did get the coin ship, and it's all the way over there. So hopefully I can get that instead. That'd be kind of nice. Kind of nice indeed. So like I said last episode, I'm starting to use up some of my items because um, I'm starting to get too many of them, to be honest. Uh, you can only hold, I think, three pages of your inventory. Boink, boink, boink. I have too many lives. I don't care. Come on, hurry it up. Yes, fine. I don't... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, World 6, I think, is the difficult one. So I'm going to put on my... Uh, uh, my frog suit. No, I'm just joking. My raccoon suit. Because a lot of this is in the air. And this is, I think, the only level where you see these guys. Or at least one of the only levels. And they're flying, uh, flying buzzy beetles or para para beetles. I have no idea what their their name, but I like this. They actually show up later in uh, New Super Mario Brothers, uh, which is a lot of fun. I'm glad they brought these guys back. This level is very difficult without some form of like keeping your momentum or not momentum, uh, your uh, you know floating in in midair. But it's not too difficult, of course. Yeah, it went up. 76 one-ups. Yeah, I said, like, I think it was last episode or the episode before where I should be able to get 99 lives before everything's done. I'll probably be able to do it. Damn it. Okay, screwed that up. Careful. Ah, uh, fire chomp. Get away from me. If he shoots enough fireballs, um, because he shoots a fireball, he loses one of the fireballs in his trail. Um, and you can, uh, he'll explode when he shoots all his fireballs. So that's kind of a, a nifty idea. Kind of nifty. I miss my Tanuki suit. You know, like like a lot. Like a lot more than is kind of appropriate. I don't care about picking a box. I want a Tanuki suit. I know I could just use one, to be honest, but I won't. What I will do, however, is um, use a star for this level, because, if I have one, that is. And just for the hell of it, I'm also going to use a frog suit. Because this is one of those levels with those uh, linky... Um, they're, they're linked superstar boxes, where if you are invincible, it'll hold a superstar. But if you're not, it won't. It's kind of an interesting idea. Very different. 
So you can kind of go through the entire stage uh, with this. There's also um, a path leading to the bottom that I'm not going to take. Because there's nothing really anything good in there. No, no, no. There we go. It's a little harder with the frog suit, believe it or not. But that's the end. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, damn. There's still more spinies. Oh, shit. Eh. And if there's enough spinies on the, the level at the same time... Or, damn it. I was missing that one on the side. If there's enough enemies on the screen when you beat the level, um, they'll, one will turn into a one-up, which is kind of fun. So I guess I'm uh, going to try out this fortress in a frog suit, which is difficult because this is not an easy level. There we go. Woo! Not easy. Not easy at all. Double fire. What does it mean? So be super careful. There are fireballs or potabos or whatever you want to call them. It's friggin' everywhere. Uh, I don't think the fire at the top can hurt you, but I am not finding out. What I do want, though, is a superstar, which I think is here. I'm gonna wait. Okay, nope, nope. Damn it, I really thought there was. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Still need to make my jumps work, though, which is not easy. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's right. I don't want what's in here because it's a it's a raccoon. Oh, no! Okay, I guess I got it. That came out of nowhere, didn't it? Oh, well, I guess it didn't come out of nowhere. It came out of the top. And you can get stuck up here, by the way, so don't try it. <laughs> I'm serious. You can get stuck in there and, like, have to start the level over again. It's kind of funny. Things like that you find when you're a little kid. Let's take this guy out. Boom, boom. You gonna fly? Yep. See, this is a flying one. But if you stomp on it before he starts flying, it doesn't really matter. So who cares? Wait for him. Point. Oh, whoops. Woo! Oh, I missed. Oh, whatever. Come on. Come on. Oh, dang. Oh, he didn't do the thing. Uh-oh. There we go. And then he doesn't fly on the third hit, so... Or on the third stage, or whatever you want to call it. He's still easy, though, because all you have to do is hit him as soon as he gets up. So, whatever. Yeah. Oh, What a tease. That was awful. I'll try to get the star. I did it. Nailed it. <laughs> whatever. Alright, world 8. What level is this? Oh, this is like a weirdly easy level. Um, seriously, it's, it's just like platforms that are like this and like Kichu chases you. And that's it. That's the entire stage. I just kind of keep going because he's not going to hit me with spinies. Or, wait, whoa. Okay, he will. But whatever. That's the end of the level. That was literally it. It's such a short level. You really tell they like phoned that one in. They're just like, uh, they did something hard. So let's just give them an easy thing to do. It's bull, but whatever. World 9 is difficult. Um, I might die in this one. If I do, I'll use a P-Wing. But it's diagonally scrolling, and it's just a bunch of these platforms. And that's it. That's the entirety of this level. Is just these. Um, which doesn't seem that hard at first until, like, Flame Chomp, or Fire Chomp, or whatever you want to call them, Flying Chomp, starts uh, following you around, and it's bullshit. It's utter bullshit. Right here, it's a little difficult. There you go. Yeah, actually, I think I'll have no trouble, because I'm near the end anyways. Let's see if I can get him to explode. Oh, dang it. Oh, no, I'll just kill him. That was the last fireball, though. He would have started exploding. Oh, there's another one! Great! Exactly what I wanted. And that's the end. Did it. Boink. Come on, start. Well... That puts a damper on my mood, I tell you what. Oh, but now I get the gold coin ship. Gold coin ship. Just one second, my cat is trying to kill things. And that takes care of that. Um, my closet was open because uh, that's where I keep all my like game consoles and wires and stuff. And uh, it was open because I was looking for something and the cat was all like, wires! And then like just jumps in there. And... <sighs> Knowing my really not smart cats, it was either going to chew all the wires or piss on all the wires. And either way, I don't like that. So, missed three coins. I am in a grumpy mood now. No Tanuki suit. No frog suit. Didn't get three stars. 
Cat wants to pee on my wires. Mystery coins! God! Can it get any worse? <sighs> First world problems. Uh, boink. One up! So yeah, I guess that's a good thing. Um, so I have to beat the boom. Oh shit, there's two boomerang brothers! I don't want to die on the money ship. Whew, I really thought I was going to throw a boomerang right up my ass. I'm glad that did not happen, because that would not have been comfortable. Alright, I want something better than that. Fire. Even though I can't kill anything with fire on an airship. Well, I guess I can. Oh no, he's been in turned into a stock Mario 2 enemy. Oh no. Disappointing. Seriously, that's disappointing. Because I, I think it turns into, like, I don't know. There's a whole whack of fun things in the original Mario 3. Like, one's a dog. That's a freaking adorable. Whatever. I think it was probably like a bird, but it like just wasn't the albatrosses for Mario 2. Anyways, this is Roy Koopa's ship. Roy Koopa is the first of the two heavyweights um, of the uh, Koopalings. And uh, Roy is based are named after Roy Orbison. I found that out. Um, I also found out that um, Morton Koopa Jr. was... Mm, uh, Morton Downey Jr.? Something like that. No, that's Robert Downey Jr. I don't friggin' know. Doesn't matter. Morton, Morton something. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Dave told me, and I forgot. I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> Boink. I like this little gauntlet. Really cool. Anyways, Roy is uh, is the first of the two heavyweights, which means when you fight him, you gotta be super careful because just like the Sledge Brothers, j him jumping will make you freeze. So you gotta want to be really careful about that. I want to take him out with my fireballs. Oh, and he also has less jumps for, uh... Um, damn it. When he, um... When you stomp on him, he doesn't jump around as much as the other ones do. Alright, you know, screw this. I need this end. Oh, yeah! Well, I didn't mean with fireballs, but whatever. Dancing, dancing, jumping. <sighs> so, I, I didn't get to beat this guy with uh, a Tanuki suit. But, whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess... Um, but now we're on to a world that I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, I, I think most people agree it's like the hardest overall world. Oh god, he's adorable. Ah, he's so cute. He's a big beard. Anyways, um, it's the Ice World. Or Winter Wonderland, I think it was called in some. Or Iced Land is another one. Um, but whatever, it's the Ice World. And I, I don't dislike it, I guess. It's just not as fun as some of the other ones. Be careful of the Ice World. Thanks. The creatures trapped in the ice will become life if warmed. That means if you have a fire flower, you can burn the ice. Uh, we'll see that, obviously, as we keep going. Oh, Juggles Cloud, don't care. Ah, so here it is. The bane of every Mario gamer, the ice world. So let's just head on in. Boink. Oh, oh. Yep, there we go. Definitely want, don't want to be small around here. Love these guys, these piranha plants. Patooies are what they're called. I love them. Oh, actually, no, technically these aren't. Um, but th this guy is. Look at that. Adorable. Little two-frame animation there. Oh, damn it. Uh, crap, crap. Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow, two of them. Oh, nice. There we go. I really need a power-up, though. Power-up. There we go. Damn it. Oh, crap. Yeah. Woo. All right, not too bad. There we go. I could have done a lot worse, to be honest. And we do have a, a split path here. Let's just take that, uh... Oh, I don't know if stars left. Oh, well, Fire Flower. Let's take this Hammer Brother out. He looked at me the wrong way. Oh, crap. There we go. Give me something good. A hammer. Eh, not great. I don't really think there's anything else to get with hammers that are any good, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna hammer the button, see if that works. No, that really didn't work. Oh, it's like a star man with like a bathing cap on. Oh well. Anyways, heading to world two. And oh great, an auto scrolling level. And there's more than one in uh, Ice World, so hooray for that. And I'm pretty certain um, that the coin challenge is in a uh, Oh, well, get this. Is in a level um, that is auto-scrolling in this world. But we'll find out um, when I get to that point. 
if I can remember that that's the level. Hell, it might be this level. I don't think it is, though. But might as well get every coin just to make sure. Eh. Jumps are getting a little harder, too, and uh, the timing is getting a little more strict on some of these things, so... But that just means the game's getting funner, at least in my opinion. To be honest, I like it when Mario games get a little more difficult, because... Like, not that I'm amazing at Mario games, but I'm clearly not bad at them, so... I definitely want some sort of challenge. Oh, damn. And, um, to be honest, none of the new Mario games have been that really difficult. Actually, I take that back. Um, Mario 3D World, I find, by the end, is rather difficult, so good on it. That's a lot of fun. And sometimes the 3D ones can get pretty difficult, though I found Galaxy 1 wasn't hard, but super fun. Mushroom house. Give me something good. Maybe a Tanuki suit. I'd like that. Uh, uh, ooh! Even better, the third and last suit. The last power-up that you haven't seen yet. Um, the Hammer Brothers suit, and I'm not going to use it. Um, and there is a reason. Because this level actually gives me a Tanuki suit. So I don't want to just use a Hammer Brothers suit and then just, like, get rid of it. So. I will definitely use that, though. Um... For some reason, I have a weird habit of trying to beat the game with the Hammer Brothers suit. Uh, like, to get through, like, the last level and stuff. So, that's kind of fun always. Yep. I'm actually going to start using my suits, too. Um, I have a very bad habit of hoarding my items in pretty much any game. RPGs, Mario games, anything. Um, where I can kind of not have to use my items. Um, where I'll go through the entire game and I'll have, like, this gigantic inventory of items. But, because I'm doing this, you know, with you guys... Um, I want to try to at least start using them a lot more. Um, similar to how I used a bunch of frog suits. Am I going to survive this? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I want to start using my suits and, and, and other such items. But it's, I don't know, it's difficult for me to want to use them. Like right now I could have used something to make me bigger. But what's the point if I know exactly how to get to a Tanuki suit, you know what I mean? Without breaking a sweat. You know what? Maybe I should have been big, and then I wouldn't have died. Eh, might as well. Gives me a reason to use that. And just for the fun, I'm going to use this music box. Eh, that's nice. So if there were any Hammer Brothers in the area, um, whee, they'd be asleep, and I could like sneak past them. But whatever, I, I don't mind fighting them. And the music box takes up a room in my inventory, so might as well use it now. Boink. I also want to get rid of those Jukum Clouds, because uh, there's no point in me having those either. Alright, let's be a little more careful this time. Just fall straight down here. There we go. Oh, dang. I hate how the, uh, the screen is still following me vertically, because I was flying, or I was up in the sky, so there we go. Much better. See if I can get those. No, I'm not going to get those. Uh, yeah, I did it. Nice. So yeah, I really think I'm going to make 99 lives before the end of this game. Not that I need them, but it's nice to go, hey, look, 99. Yeah. Oh, nice. The, uh, the music's still going. That'll go on for a couple turns. Um, by the time I reach the actual next, uh, next Hammer Brother, though, it's probably going to have worn off by then. There we go. On moving platforms like this, if you know you don't have to jump around, just turn into a statue because enemies will just end up killing themselves, and that's always fun. Especially right here. Super, super easy. And there we go. Super simple. Doink. And that takes care of both of them. I have no idea why, but it does. I love the Tanuki suit. It just makes things so much, uh, dang, better. And if you are able to fly, you can go on up here. The reason why, by the way, I'm not hitting, like, uh, hitting, uh, blocks and stuff is because I do not want to accidentally lose my Tanuki suit like I did before. Because I'm, I can be dumb sometimes. There, I, oh, okay. Wasn't even, wasn't even following my own advice. Oh, my God. Well, there we go. Jeez, Phil. 
<sighs> Come here, you. There, die. All right. So that's enough for this time, guys. We'll conquer the rest of the uh, of Winter Wonderland or Iceland or whatever. Uh, next time on Let's Play Super Mario All Stars Super Mario Brothers 3, I'm Phil the Blanks. Take care, guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, check out my other content on my YouTube channel, where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games. See ya!